there are probably short-term implications as it relates to that, particularly around uh, if you look in the asset management world recently, a number of asset managers are saying they will only uh, want to invest in organizations that have sustainable policies and things along those lines. That's very, very interesting, but it's also challenging. Uh, but that's a short-term risk because in terms of looking at that, they have to understand just exactly how do you define that? And how does that impact the investment practices of various uh, investment managers and, and other activities and organizations? And it gets into supply chain issues and a variety of other things. But as you look at it, is it a long-term or short-term risk? It's both. It's longer term also. You know, the question then becomes, you know, whether you actually believe or not that the climate uh, is man-made changes are, are driving that or not, that's irrelevant. There are changes that are taking place in the climate, and so how, in fact, should organizations deal with that? And that's one of the problems that the financial services industry is trying to grapple with at the moment in terms of how do you, how do you build scenarios that would make sense when models right now are looking at one or two year models or they're looking at time horizons that are really short term, in climate you're looking at 40, 50 year time horizons. And people have not done that before. They haven't modeled things along those, that, those lines before. And everyone is dealing with that from, frankly, a, a very low baseline at the moment, but they're all trying to scramble to really, really understand it and do it in a way that's very positive and in a way that I think has to be coordinated on a global basis. And so I think that's a challenge. That challenge is not going to go away in the near term. I think that challenge will be there for years to come. Uh, and I think it's going to also uh, develop a whole new area of risk management, in all honesty. And GARP as an organization is, uh, I think, helping to support that through our new program that we put together and a certificate program that we just uh, will bring in May uh, of this year, 2020, uh, the first certificate in sustainability and climate risk management. And that's designed to be a base certificate and a, or a program that will allow people to look at climate and climate related, risk related issues uh, on a more standardized basis globally. And I think that's the first of its kind, but it's one that's going to uh, require a lot of change and a lot of development over the years, but it's one that's really quite fascinating. And I think it's the one of the cutting edge areas right now in financial risk management or risk management as a whole.